I've tested the best CPU coolers for the Ryzen 5 5600G, and today I'll show you exactly which ones keep your temps low and your performance high. From top tier air coolers to high performance AIO liquid coolers, I'll break down the best options with real world benchmarks and key things to consider before you buy. Stick around because I'll also help you decide between air versus AIO and reveal the best picks for budget, silent cooling, and overclocking. Drop a comment below and tell me which cooler you're using or considering for your build. Before we jump into the best coolers, let's talk about why cooling matters. Every CPU has TDP, or thermal design power, which is the heat output your processor generates. The Ryzen 5 5600G has a TDP of approximately 65 watts, but under heavy loads, it can spike past 75. If your cooler can't handle the heat, your CPU will throttles, meaning it slows down to avoid overheating. And trust me, that's the last thing you want, whether you're gaming or rendering 4K video. Stock coolers, they exist, but let's be real. They're loud, small, and struggle under high temps. That's why upgrading is one of the smartest moves you can make. All right, let's get started with air coolers. Each cooler has its pros and cons, and here are the top choices for the CPU. It's important to note that there may be other high-performing coolers than what I'm sharing, but this list is curated specifically for the heat profile of the 5600G. First up is the budget cooler that offers great looks and good thermals. The Arctic Freezer 36 offers great cooling for mid-temperature CPUs in a compact size using two 120mm fans on a monolithic heatsink. This cooler is one of the easiest to install, with the fans being snapped on rather than using the industry standard fan retention clips. If you're new to CPU building, you can't go wrong with this cooler, but let's see how well this cooler performs on the 5600G. Before we dig into results, let me orient you to the graph. We have temperatures on the left represented by the solid line, noise on the right represented by the dashed line, and percent speeds on the bottom. For this graph, lower is always better. At idle, the Arctic Freezer 36 and red provide slightly better cooling than the average cooler in blue. As we increase the heat to high use on the 5600G, we can see that this cooler continues to outperform. Additionally, we can observe that this cooler's noise profile is below the average cooler. So what if you want something that sounds a little better? Well, one of the best all-around coolers for the 5600G is the Noctua NHD12L. This cooler has the traditional Noctua colors, but rocks a dual heat sink setup with a single 120mm fan. This cooler is one of the quietest on the market for the cooling it produces. Noctua is known for excellent customer service and great noise profiles, paying attention to both the noise level and the tone of the fans. However, it's a premium brand and comes at a premium price. Let's take a look and see how well this cooler can handle the 5600G. At idle, the Noctua NHD12L in red cooling performance is in line with the average cooler in blue. As we increase the watt to high CPU use, we can see that this cooler continues to provide cooling in line with the average cooler. However, what makes this cooler stand out is the noise profile, which is significantly lower than the average cooler at the higher fan speeds. Note that the NHD12L is great for lower TDP coolers, but it's not the ideal future-proofing cooler, especially if you plan to swap the CPU with a much higher TDP. For future-proofing with great thermals and a noise profile to match, the Noctua NHU12A is a great option and offers great cooling in a compact size using two 120mm fans on a large monolithic heatsink. Let's see how well this cooler performs on the 5600G. At idle, the NHU12A in red cooling performance is in line with the average cooler in blue. As you increase the watt to high CPU use, we can see that this cooler begins to outperform the average cooler, while also having a similar noise profile as the average cooler. While the 5600G doesn't produce enough heat for this cooler to really shine, it provides much better cooling as the watts increase, handling some of the top CPUs. Check out my website, PCAnalytics.com, to see how well this cooler performs on much more demanding CPUs, such as the 5800X 3D or the 7800X 3D. But what if you're looking for future-proofing cooler at a value price? Well, that's where the Peerless Assassin 120 comes into the picture. This cooler is one of the more popular coolers on the market right now, as it provides some of the best cooling for the price. It uses two 120mm fans on a dual heatsink setup. This cooler comes in numerous variations, with RGB, black, and white versions available. Given this may seem too good to be true, let's take a look at thermals. At idle, the Peerless Assassin 120 in red cooling performance is better than the average cooler in blue. As you increase the watts to high use, we can see that this cooler offers slightly better cooling across the board. Additionally, its noise profile is slightly better than the average cooler. It is important to note that similar to the Noctua NHU12A, this cooler begins to shine at higher heat loads, which can be seen on my website. So if you want a quiet, air-cooled setup, these are excellent choices. But what if you want something sleeker with great thermals? Let's talk about AIOs. AIOs, or all-in-one liquid coolers, are great for overclocking and aesthetics. Here are some of the top picks. The first liquid cooler is the Arctic Liquid Freezer 3 240. This cooler is set at an affordable price and offers excellent cooling. However, this cooler has been known to offer some challenges when mounting the AIO mount. But based on all the coolers I've reviewed, this isn't a reason to shy away from this cooler. 
It comes in both RGB and non-RGB versions, so you can find the right setup for your build. Let's take a look in terms of how well it does cooling the 5600G. At the lower power levels, the Arctic Freezer 3, 240, and red provide slightly better cooling across all percent speeds relative to the average cooler in blue. As the heat increases, we can see that this gap materially widens across the board. However, the Arctic Liquid Freezer 3 is noticeably louder at the lower percent speeds, which is primarily due to the pump being set at 100% speed for testing, which can be lowered to reduce noise levels. While the 240 is great for the 5600G, it doesn't scale well to higher temp CPUs. With that in mind, if you're looking for future proofing with the AIO, the Arctic Liquid Freezer 3 360 is a better option. It has all the same features as the 240, but with a larger radiator and an extra 120mm fan. Let's see how well it does. At the lower heat levels, the Arctic Liquid Freezer 3 360 in red provides noticeably better cooling than the average cooler in blue. As we increase the heat, we can see that this gap noticeably widens. However, like the 240 counterpart, this cooler is louder across the board due to the pump being set at 100% fan speed which can be reduced when high performance isn't required, especially for the 5600G. To see how well this cooler does at high heat loads, check out the performance on the 5000X 3D on my website. In terms of air versus AIO, top modern air coolers can perform just as well as some AIOs. With that in mind, the choice to go AIO is one more based on looks rather than cooling necessity. However, while AIOs give a clean look, you can expect air coolers to last longer and cheaper to fix if something does go wrong. But before you buy a cooler, here are some key installation tips. Make sure you have RAM clearance. The Peerless Assassin may cover your RAM sticks. While the fans on these coolers can be lifted slightly over the RAM and still perform well, it can hide RGB on the RAM sticks if you go that route. Ensure proper AIO radiator placement by mounting it at the top or front, never the bottom. Positioning the radiator at the top or front of the case with the tubes at the bottom prevent air bubbles from affecting cooling performance. Additionally, keeping the radiator above the CPU is critical as this prevents air pockets from accumulating around the pump, which can lead to reduced efficiency and potential overheating. Lastly, apply thermal paste correctly. While overdoing it with non-conductive thermal paste won't heavily detriment performance, putting too little will. Using a pea size or spreading thermal paste across the CPU are good methods to make sure you have the right amount of paste. So, which one should you buy? Here's my final breakdown. The best overall is the Noctua NHU-12A, which offers future proofing with powerful performance in a compact size, but it is pricey. The best budget is the Thermrite Peerless Assassin, which has the best cooling for the price and will future proof your build. The best silent cooler is the Noctua NHD-12L, which has the best cooling performance for the noise it produces. And the best for overclocking? While most coolers can handle the CPU's overclocking temps, if you want to future proof your overclocking needs, the Arctic Liquid Freezer 3 360 has the best cooling temperatures of the cooler shown. So which one would you pick? Let me know in the comments. If none of these are appealing to you, you can always check out many more cooler reviews on the 5600G on my website pcanalytics.com. That's a wrap for the best CPU coolers for the 5600G. If you found this helpful, drop a like and subscribe.